Hey everybody, what's going on? Brother John here. Welcome to Modern Deism. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I want to share a little, I guess, a little bit of a frustration. Oh, by the way, can't wait. Football season. Go Eagles. Uh, can't wait. Starting soon. <laughs> anyway, I was talking with a Christian, and we were talking about this pastor that um, had died from pancreatic cancer, which is a um, it's a terminal cancer, one of the, I think, the most fatal cancers that there are. And I, I am, I'm sure that the whole church was praying for this pastor to be healed, was laying on hands, and all that stuff, and yet he died. And when he died, uh, apparently it caused a little upheaval in the church and they had to get a new pastor, but I don't know all the ins and outs of that. But let's just deal specifically about why he was not healed. And the frustration that I come across here, all right, is that if a Christian is going to stand on the promises of the Bible, and in that Bible, the promise says, I think you, you have like in James, I believe it's in chapter 2 or 4, something like that, where it says that um, if you bring the sick among you to the elders, right, anoint his head with oil, he shall be healed. You have a similar thing in, in the end of Mark, right, talks about laying on a hands and this prayer of faith person shall be healed. You have other promises as such in the Bible that people will be healed. They will take what I see is a scripture out of context, by his stripes we are healed from Isaiah saying so shame with Jesus. But nonetheless, because that's taken out of context, so I'm not even going to deal with that. But let's take the ones that do say outright that if you lay hands, bring them to the elders, the person shall be healed. Now this person was not healed. And the frustration is, and I'm sure many of you experience it, and maybe some of you are Christians there, and you give this answer. Well, God works in mysterious ways. I don't have the answers. You're going to have to ask God. And... I think it becomes, it's a cop-out. It seems like God always has the out. Now, many of you know that I still believe in a creator. I still believe in a God. Not just, I don't believe in this biblical God. But the thing, I the frustration is, should it not make a believer question? Question, is what I'm reading actually true? If if I if we're doing what is said in the Bible and then the result doesn't happen, shouldn't a light bulb go off in your head? Why not? And I think that some people feel guilty. They feel like I cannot question God. You know, who am I to question God and all that? So they say God works in mysterious ways. We don't know. Or we get this lame answer, oh, maybe they didn't have enough faith. But even if you had a little bit of faith, right, you're supposed to move mountains. And if you have many people praying for somebody with little about midst of even just tendons, mustard seeds worth of faith, a person should be healed. But if they're not, shouldn't that make you question? So I proceeded to ask the person, and the conversation was really not going anywhere. And I try to say, let's let's just put. Let's put God to the side and just talk about the Bible. And they say, we can't because God and the Bible are one. And I'm like, what? So then, in essence, you worship the Bible. You're saying that the Bible, which is written by man, um, is on the same level as God. That they are both equal. Yet, if some promise in there is not, if a promise in there is broken, does that not say that the promise of God is broken then if you're going to equate it? And then they don't want to question this. They don't want to see this. And this is a frust this was very frustrating. So, 
I don't know. I just wanted to share that. To me, it's just an obvious, blatant thing that uh, the Bible is not infallible. It is not the total, true words of God. These are words written by men. Uh, is there inspiration and, and lessons we can learn? Most certainly. But to say it's infallible, inerrant, word of God, and that every word is true, it, it's just a fallacy. It, it, and the evidence is just right there in front of us. And this happens, I'm sure you out there can think of countless times where people were not healed. I have it in my own life. All right, My first wife died at a very young age of 25 okay I had many people praying for her and she and she died anyway I still remained a Christian for 20 years after the fact okay but but looking back right the promise was broken and I don't know what it takes Maybe it takes something for some people that takes a real personal incident to happen. Something really has to hit home to really maybe, wow, question their whole idea, um, their their Christian belief of 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 God and and their faith in a Bible. And this is why I say a lot of times that people, more Christians, mostly and especially fundamentalists, their faith is more, their belief is more in a book than an actual creator. Your belief is not in Jesus. Your belief is in a book written by people that we can't even verify these things, right? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are not the writers of the Gospels, right? We have, there's many videos. I put videos out. There's other people videos out to, to explain why that is not the case, okay? I mean, once, one thing it's obvious to me that Matthew could not be writing about the virgin birth of Jesus if it was Matthew because Matthew was supposedly one of Jesus' apostles' contemporaries, just like John, Mark, and Luke, right? So they could not have been at the virgin birth. They would have been around the same age, a few, maybe a year or two older, or maybe not even born at the time when Jesus was born. So how could they have written about virgin birth when they weren't there, okay? That's just one incident. Just to show you that it could not be, the Gospels could not be written by the people that it's supposedly it's attributed to. And that goes beyond all the contradictions and everything else. And that's another video. But I just wanted to deal with this whole healing issue. And, you know, if God's Word be true, if this is God's Word, the Bible, if it be true, then why not are things coming, you know, not happening? And the, la the excuses that God works in mysterious ways, or you're going to blame it on the person, it just doesn't fly. It doesn't fly. And it shouldn't fly with you. You should really, something you should really think about. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> Take care, everybody.